Jonathan Rucker is showing the world that success doesn't have an age minimum. At 24 years old, Jonathan is the owner of several small businesses and gives back to his community through those businesses. Jonathan is a Ponchatoula native who went on to attend Louisiana State University, where he played football as a linebacker for the LSU Tigers. After graduation, Jonathan decided to forego NFL opportunities as he felt his call to service was better left off the field and in his community. Jonathan's mother played an important role in his decision to serve because she had started a ministry for troubled girls called Nora's House. He saw the impact that she made on their lives and realized that he could help make that impact too. He realized that he had a lucky break being able to attend LSU and play football, but not everyone in his community got that break. And he wanted to provide the opportunity to be able to help youth in his community get a proper education and support system. In February of 2018, along with his mother, Jonathan opened Rucker's House a group home that serves teenage males that are in the custody of the state. He recognized that getting on track required a support system and an education. Rucker's House is a part of Jonathan's family Strike Two Ministries and gives young men a place to live and pursue their education in a supervised environment. In March of 2019, Jonathan started making his own ice cream and selling it at farmer's markets. His ice cream became a staple in Pachatula and he decided to grow his ice cream business by purchasing a brick and mortar location in which to sell it. He opened Rucker's Family Mart and it quickly turned into the local corner store. Rucker's Family Mart handed out 40 free turkeys to families at Thanksgiving. And before the location even opened, Jonathan would bring his ice cream to his alma mater high school for the teachers. Jonathan also opened a food truck at his family mart to provide homemade soul food. His dream is to build a community from the inside out. Jonathan currently lives in Ponchatoula, Louisiana with his son, Jonathan Rucker Jr. Please welcome your 2020 10 Outstanding Young American, Jonathan Rucker. Wow. Um, I just want to thank God first. Um, without him, this, this, wouldn't even, this wouldn't even be a thought. Um, it's been it's been it's been a wild ride uh, these past two years since I've, I've left college. You know, um, it's been a, a bunch of up and downs, and, and and through and through what I just saw back in this video, man, the downs made me appreciate the ups for for sure. Um, I just want to give a give a shout out to my local JCIs in Ponchatoula. Um, I know we come from a small town, and um, there are there are a ton of people who do a lot for this community, um, and, and and to be worthy enough to be chosen. And, by my local JCI, um, it, it's truly humbling. The video said I was 24, I just made 25 this past month. And to think of the things that I've been able to do along, along with my family and, and the impact that we've been able to have within our community is truly humbling. Um, God has been really good to me. Um, I, I have two beautiful boys um, that, that I look to inspire every day. Uh, I know a lot of I know a lot of times it may sound cliche, you know, you, you, you wake up and want to inspire, you know, how, how, how do you wake up every day and, and continue to look for something to be inspiring for, you know, it's the work is never done. Um, that's what I, that's what I've uh, learned through, through football and, and been able to compete at the highest level, no matter if you have a perfect practice or a bad practice, it's always something that you can improve upon. And whenever I graduated college, that is something that I wanted to bring to my community. You know, I wanted them to see that, yes, we have a phenomenal community, but we also have people here who are hungry. We have kids who go to bed hungry. We have families that can not afford to feed their entire family. There's a void that has to be filled. And that's one thing that I've been trying to do since I've been home. You know, you can say that you want to you want to solve the problems of the world, but without without in order to do that, you have to start at home and that's what I've been trying to do these past two years. You know, we have our group homes for the kids who are in state's custody, providing them with homes um, who, who more often, they don't have families. They end up in state's custody by way of, you know, um, death in the family and no one ever, no one able to look after them or parents are on drugs or in jail. And that's where we step in. That's where we take the kids and we empower them. We show them that it doesn't matter where you come from, you determine your future. You have to keep your eyes on the prize. You have to learn how to not, to not only learn how to empower yourself, but empower others. And on this journey, I found that empowering others, it fulfills me more. Um, that's sort of a reason why I did not chase that, chase that pipe dream of the NFL, of NFL football. You know, there, there's so much that, that comes along with that. 
Um, and one thing you can do, you can't put a price on joy and you can't put a price on making people's day. Um, and that's one thing that I, that I strive for. Um, there's been numerous times where, you know, I've had offers to, to do other things, um, to, to, to pursue careers that, you know, that are just solely about the money. And I've been a guy who, who's never been about that. Um, and to be able to receive an award like this, you know, I'm, I don't really talk about too many of my accomplishments. You know, I'm not the type to, to gloat or anything like that. And, and, but this one right here, this one, this one really, this one really touched me, um, to be considered a top American, a young American, um, with past recipients, you know, presidents, um, even Elvis Presley, man, uh, to, to be even considered in the same sentence to, to be winning an award that, um, that those guys and, and, and women have, have won is truly remarkable. And hearing the stories and hearing the backgrounds of the people who are, who are, who are a part of this, this class this year, this 2020 class, we are truly special for sure. Um, hearing what you guys are doing and we're only halfway through. I mean, I've been thinking about how could I, how could I create an impact like some of you are doing, you know, you guys are spreading across the world and, and just being so inspirational. Um, I just want you to know that it does not go unnoticed. I mean, you have truly inspired me to, to want to do more, to, to want to empower more, to, to, to be bigger in my community and growing, you know, and, and I just, I just want you guys to, to know that age doesn't mean anything. Um, I used to get that a lot, you know, I'm not going, I don't want to listen to this young guy. Well, you know, God has, God shows favor and, and he's, he showed a lot of favor on my life. And if I can continue to inspire the next generation and even inspire people, the generation before me, um, then my job is complete. And I just want to wrap this up by saying, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, to, to be a recipient of this award is, is truly, is truly a blessing. Um, this one I might bring up in conversation and let them know that I won this one. So thank you, JCI, uh, and, and, and congratulations to all the recipients this year.